We're trying to remove our mirror today from an E46. Um, I'm having the standard leak in the mirror. Basically half my mirror is still working, the other half is starting to show a glittery uh, film effect and you can definitely tell it's going bad. So before it gets worse and it starts leaking onto my uh, interior, I am going to replace the panel or the, uh, the mirror. So in order to do that, the first thing you want to do is remove the rain sensing cover right here. There is a uh, seam right down the middle and what you want to do is just pull away from that center. So I, I'm just going to get a pick and slowly start trying to pry away at it. Just be gentle with it though. There we go. One half. And the other. Next, you want to remove the connector right here. There's an electrical connector. So just kind of pull it out of the middle of the stock right here. procedures that are saying to pull it that's incorrect what you want to do is twist in a counterclockwise motion at least for a left-hand drive vehicle and it should come off very easily just like that as you can see there are metal strips those are basically what flex and lock it the mirror into place on here on this little nut. So now we're just gonna go get our new mirror and uh, put on, put it on. As you can see here, shining a light on it, the right half is still okay. The left half, I don't know if you guys can see it in the video, there's a glittery effect. That is with the, uh, the fluid in between the glass. It looks like it's failing. So I'm gonna send this one out for repair. Luckily, I was able to source a, another mirror. Here's our new mirror. And it was as simple as that. You want to line it up until you feel even contact along the glass and then you want to again rotate it clockwise until you hear a nice snap and lock. All that's left is to plug back the connector that was in the mirror. Plugged in, just confirm. And then you just want to put the covers back on. back on and we're safe to drive back on the road with our auto dimming capabilities. 
I will post links in the video so that you can see where you can get yours re, uh, remanufactured rather than having to pay the hefty $600, $500 price of a new mirror.